Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Big Hair Review. And today we have number Nendre 1113. We have now me from Shield Hero. The rise of the Shield Hero, actually. One of the, not the greatest out there, but I actually really, this is another good show, of course. You guys watch my channel, you know I recommend a lot of anime. This is a really good one. There's season two and three actually confirmed already. And I believe this one's not going by the manga because there also is a light novel to this. So I highly recommend if you want to uh, catch up, I would do it now before season two and three. I don't know what year they're coming out yet, but I know it's just confirmed. So it's gonna happen. It's got really popular. This is actually a manga that I could have gotten a lot earlier, but my friends, uh, my real close best friends, uh, Kaylin and Amanda, that they have actually uh, told me to watch this a long time ago. But to me, it isn't. I don't know why. I was just dumb, I guess. I didn't take it into consideration and actually look into it. And then when the anime came out, I'm like, oh shoot, I guess I will actually uh, watch it. But then when it came out, I'm like, oh my god, why didn't I watch it sooner? So I'm so sorry, Kaylin and Amanda. I should have watched it earlier. So I'm telling you guys, don't do make the same mistake I did. I go out there and watch it. It's on Crunchyroll. If you got BRV, whatever, um, go check it out. This show is amazing. So this is the front panel here. This is the side panel. As you can tell here, his shield goes in the dark. No batteries included, clearly. Um, then his other shield there. His standard pose is here in the back. And then there's also the side panel here. And then back to the front. So he does have quite a few accessories. Not for me, oh my gosh, when I first saw him, he's a real cutesy guy, at least in the beginning. I'm not going to spoil too much, but when he gets angry, my god, he is awesome. He's so badass, he's so cool, he's so cute, and just, oh, I love this guy. He's one of my favorites. If you like the spear hero, I don't know who likes that asshole. I'm not going to say no more after that, but just so you know, check this out. I totally recommend it, 10 out of 10. All right, so you guys on the drill, I'll take them right out the box and I'll be right back. All right guys, we're back. So we got an Alphamie out of the box and we got all the accessories displayed out and ready to display for you. So, this is a standard out of the box position and faceplate and nothing too crazy. I love, I loved his outfit when he got his, um, his armor. Yeah, his armor when he joins into the world he goes into. Now, I love the color. Green is, I'm not a huge color green, but I love all the shade of green that he does have on him. His eyes are beautiful green. His cape is a lime, nice lime green. His pants are dark. The little fur coats around him, his little hip. I don't know why, the like, little hip belt protection armor, but leather thing, I'm not sure what that is. Thigh pads, I don't know. But it's still super adorable, super detailed. These actually do come off. But okay, of course it's meant to be there, so I'm not gonna take him off. Um, the only thing I have a little worried about is that he has so many, of course, shield accessories. I don't see this arm piece here having that issue, so I'm wondering how we're gonna get those pieces to stick on. We're probably just gonna have some extra arm pieces that we'll see in a little bit, and we'll decide on how they put together. But he, in the from the photos, he looked like he might be a little tricky to put together. I'm hoping not because I have a lot of expectations for this because I did order Raftilia and I can't wait for her and I think it comes out next month or this month I'm not too sure I gotta keep track of my, my orders better but you know what I mean I'm not too sure but I can't wait to have them together I'm hoping they make Philo yeah Philo little cute angel girl she's one of my favorites too going to his side a whole circle shot of him here his cape you can't move and adjust these Move it uh, in and out, further down. I kind of like where it is right here. And yeah, that's all his basic standard out of the box here. So next, we're going to go over his face plates. Of course, every ninja has two face plates. Now, we has his like standard, like, I don't give a F about you face. Then here we have his pissed off face. Like, I will murder you. Like, I, I love, I, I hate what, I hate how they do him in the anime. And when I first, when I was reading the manga afterwards, and when I was, like, after the anime ended, I decided to read the manga so I knew what happened for season two. And this reading it, that pissed me off so bad. I've never been so angry. Well, not that, maybe not that angry, but I've never, I've, I've been so, like, I can feel my blood boil, basically. And it was just like, 
Well, like, so you want to kill everyone, and then you don't want to kill but you want to just get rid of everyone, just let, like, why can't Nofumi live happily, basically? I keep going into why he's angry, but once you guys read the manga, you will know exactly what I'm talking about. So this says, I will rip you to shreds, murder you face, and then he, he has a crying face, so I don't remember this, I mean, he, he does probably, no, not even in the beginning, I don't know, but he does have this crybaby face, I don't remember when he makes his face plate, but I think this is when... Raftilia gives him that food and he's able to taste and that symbolizes a lot, but I'm not gonna go over that too much But yeah, a really cute face. I love this one. He's super adorable I think I'm gonna keep him in his regular standard face plate for now Then going over into his shields now. These are like the probably the best detail there is so far about him Now we have two different shields. We have his snake These are supposed to be snakes actually so you guys know these are snakes his little green protection shield and this is his rage shield Sorry, I said this one. I forget, it's been a little while since the anime came out, so I can't remember exactly, so you, you guys please correct me. But I think this one is meant, this is not healing. I forget which one, I, I could be right or wrong. But I know this is his rage one, I can't remember exactly what this shield activated, but these are amazingly detailed. I love how this, especially the rage one looks. It has all the perfect details. The nice little designs on the shield, little ruffles here. Like, this is actually like embroidered. Mm. It's really like sculpted on. It did a really good job there. The shape of the shield looks good. The gem in the middle. It is just a peg in the back, so I'm assuming that's where we're gonna put that to hold on his arm. He doesn't have much um, pieces for the arms, I'll show you that in a second. But I, this is probably my favorite shield. I mean, it's clearly the terrible shield you don't want him to use in the anime, but design-wise, I this is probably my favorite one so far. Season two, my show, so season three, my show, some other shields, but that's probably one of my favorites. I'm I'm caught up all the way with the manga, so I kind of know what's gonna happen in season two. But I also heard they're gonna go by the light novel, so I I've never read the light novel, so I'm not too sure exactly what's in that. But I know season two is gonna be a crazy season, and I can't wait. So again, this is the other shield. It's really good detail too, a lot smaller. We have the snakes on the cro across. We have the snakes going across. You can kind of see, this one's a bit harder to see in details, but it's amazingly colored. I love it. It's super adorbs. Ooh, maybe not adorbs, it's just, it's just badass looking. There has to be like, cosplayers who play, cosplayers in film are really good because of how they get their shields. It's amazing. People make this stuff by hand or people buy it, but still, it's amazing how people can do it. Then we have his regular little shield. This is his kind of default, I guess you could kind of say, shield. So this is what his shield originally looks like, but it transforms into this. So let's say he eats, or no, sorry, not eats, my mistake. He absorbs it into this little gem in the middle. Because the shield, people think the shield is like the weakest one, but yet it's really the most badass one in the show. Not even gonna lie. So let's say he eats like a berry to heal or whatever. Some type of medicine, you know. He absorbs it into here and let's say it'll go into this and this unlocks a new level to that shield. And that's what this shield is. So that's, that's just an example. Not the best example, but it's somewhat. So this is a standard one that he gets when he first starts training to become the better shield hero. And to be honest, he's the only real hero. We all know that he's probably one of the best heroes or the only hero in the show. Then we have little slime balls. Now, if you watch the anime, of course, you know what this is. It's part of the lowest of the lowest level monsters. I think it is a slime ball, is what they called it. And this is one of the things he first used to start training with. To train Raftilia. And he it's cute because he keeps them in his uh, cape sometimes. To use it to, as a distraction to attack or do something. But yeah, it's really nicely detailed. There's a little peg in the back. I thought you can open it. But I'm not getting it to open, so I'll have to figure that part out, because in the illustration, it grabs his arm. So we'll figure that part out once we get there. Then we're going to go into the huge shield. This is quite the, oh, sorry. This is the, probably the biggest one. It clearly is see-through, but this is the glow-in-the-dark one. Now this is the shield that he uses to protect everyone, like the ultimate, like, backup, why well, I will save your life kind of shield. So this is like the trump card, I guess you could say. It's the biggest one compared to these. You can see the difference. It's quite big. I'm going to show you what it looks like um, uh, in the dark because it does glow in the dark. So I'll be right back with that. So 
So then now going into his arm pieces. This is I'm sure where the shields are gonna go and attach on. Uh, the detail on them is same. Nothing too crazy on it. The fur, the nice cuffs, the grip. His little handle here, so I'm sure that's gonna be holding something too. But this has one, and then we also have another one for the left and right side arm. So there, I'll show you in this perspective. So it's like this. Ooh. So this is how they're gonna look like. Excuse me. Yawning. So right, left, and then the little knobs. Whoop. Little knobs here. Then he only has one leg adjustment, which is like a little bent knee kind of leg. Nothing too detailed here. The nice fur on the cuff. Nice cute boots. He's so adorable. And then we, of course we have the extra adjustments for like the little slime ball or to hold the shield. So that's basically it for all his little pieces here. Oof. Sorry, it's a little mess. But that's basically it for the accessories he comes in. So far right now, we're gonna put them all together. And then I'll show you guys those shots and I'll be right back. Again, don't forget to like the video, subscribe, comment down below, let me know what you guys think of the video, if you liked it, if you don't like it, what you want to see in the future, what do you think should be improved, the audio, the visuals, what do you need to see to make this video better and to get you guys to enjoy the content I'm putting out. Again, don't forget to check out my Twitter and also my Instagram and as well as the YouTube channel. Alright guys, that's the end of the video. Thank you so much for coming for another episode of The Gary Review. Thank you so much and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!